on November the 30, 2023, this is just a day, the day after I posted the two videos about one concerning the so-called second psychiatrist at home for elderly people in Novo Mesto uh, and his colleague psychiatrist Stergar. Um, there is a video I have created on the so-called second psychiatrist. Now there is a second video that I have to Whether that be used, uh, they do something to me, to the internet, so that uh, the internet goes like this. Now I am under constant attack. This is a open. This is the, they damage the Wi-Fi connection. I don't. Uh, there is one book behind internet play inside of this house. I don't have time to discuss the issues concerning the internet play inside of this house. Uh, but it's hell interesting when police would use my cable from the room to pull one all the way to the kitchen. As a matter of fact, all the way up to where the phone is located. So, um, the way I resolve this issue, basically, that you have seen, because you can see here in the corner, it's all connected, right? Is by disconnecting myself. Uh, so probably they have done something on the laptop to me this time. Then I can then I turn the internet back on like this. And basically what I do is I click here, troubleshoot the problems. Once I disconnect myself, I do this. Uh, now probably the internet is going to work again. Oh, there you go. So the internet is working again. So this kind of gaslighting lunacy is supported also with other issues. So before I'm going to take, before I'm going to take on two videos, uh, which I even unpublished yesterday, before I'm going to take on two videos, which are even unpublished yesterday, uh, so the second video I have to complete is about this here, it involves Nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there was more violence, more lies involved in it, so this won't be easy at all. Uh, before I take on this video here, I would like to congratulate uh, Slovenian leader Janis Janša, uh, Igor Baucar, Loise Peterle, Dmitri Rupel, uh, Demos, if you like, Demos, I would like to congratulate them on a great news. Based on MK Ultra, shitty internet and all this, all this stuff go hand in hand. So you know, I have to look as stupid and as ridiculous as much as possible. Don't worry about it. It's all on me.
the internet is again kind of a slow so i'm gonna go i'm gonna troubleshoot see basically what the problem is so i'm trying to read specific website folder or network this is so now the windows diagnostic i thought that i got um, simply a wi-fi troubleshooting connection but I, it appears to me they completely cut me off the internet and now not even windows diagnostic works i have never seen by the way i've never seen anything like this yet uh it always mentions me something about adopters dns whatever uh, but it's just getting better and better, and I don't have so much time. Uh, breaking news, former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger dies at 100. Uh, this here was the main news here that you see here. Shannon Doherty wants to embrace life as cancer spreads to her bones. I do not ridicule Shannon Doherty at all. Uh, I liked Shannon Doherty, but Shannon Doherty was a great friend of Vladimir Putin. Shannon Doherty was a visitor to this house for 30 years. Always Illuminati gift that would come around to visit, to support, etc., etc. The Hollywood was very, very, very much supported to Vladimir Putin. Either way, this news about the bone cancer supposedly goes in line with guest lighting. We're going to do it again. If it doesn't work once, we're going to do it again. Listen, uh, I have to look stupid. You don't understand. They're saving my life. British Royal stated me, the moment that you would become a recognized as the creator of the Eastern Europe, liberation of the Eastern Europe, is the moment they would kill you. Don't you understand? We're saving your life. All right, so keep saving my life. This is what the British royals, Prince Andrew and Prince Charles figure out and Princess Anne. Or if you want to say, you can say that this case never existed. That's fine with me. The big leader, and this is why I this is why I have congratulated to Demos today. Big Slovenian leader, their Führer, Führer uh, he warned that if you have a health problems, I did not even open this, but I already know the article. Do not hesitate to visit a physician. So this is another news from MK Ultra that was involved in it. This here. They refer to me as an X also under MK Ultra. X files, etc. etc. Uh, so this is a big fear that this is supposedly this is a opposition to Milan Kuchan, etc., etc. Uh, so there you have. Uh, do not hesitate to visit a doctor if you have a health problems. Uh, the Führer also registered previously as a Udba murderer, assassin, professional, uh, published this news had this news published on November the 29th of 2023. So there you go. Yesterday I discussed the issue uh, about this individual from Ljubljana and I have discussed what 
I believed was the second psychiatrist from the city of the Novo Mesto. Today, I'm going to release one video that will correct the lies from the psychiatrists as much as I can correct them. There is no way that I would... I was drugged up. I was subjected to the torture. This is about the torture. Have ability to identify these people beyond the account I gave. And the video I will use to correct this crime will be titled as Correction about second psychiatrist at home for elderly people in Novo Mesto, but I will not remove either of the two videos and will use both videos as a proof of MK Ultra. They lied, but lies are such that match reality of the torture events. Uh, I have no connection whatsoever, no ability to. Um, control their lies. Oh, my account about this will stay, and I will use the video to literally enforce through the police a court procedure against them, and I hope I get these people incarcerated. I will not remove the video. The video will stay. Next to the news about this Yugo Führer from Slovenia, there is another news that appeared here. And this is also the news that occurred in 2016. When I say 2016, we are talking about that's basically four plus three. We're talking about seven years ago, this news occurred. This is the news about the 29-year-old who orally have satisfied a stranger on the plane. Uh, the name of the plane, the name of the plane is Pabeda. Pabeda, Paruski, Paruski, Pabeda is means a victory. Victory. She was arrested and uh, penalized, punished. Uh, but Valeria is her name, has no regrets. Uh, in this plane, Ruski, Pabeda, victory, Pabeda, Paruski, uh, Valeria, the 29, was arrested in Moscow immediately upon the landing of the plane because she had a oral sex with a stranger. So my program might be strange to you. However, the information I provide you with is based on facts. It's based on numerous proofs. Just as many as you see here, more I did not publish online. I have to still publish them. You see, these are all physical proofs about my identifying people, buildings, locations, etc., etc. It might be a strange story to you, ladies and gentlemen, but this is the actual factual account. It does not get more factual than an actual factual real reality. I might be killed. I might have been killed already. It's true. Maybe I do have a bone cancer. I don't know. Uh, brain cancer. I don't know. If you would know what these people are doing with me, you would understand me that I have no way of knowing what this what was exactly was done to me
as much as you people enjoy hospitals and the health care, you have to acknowledge also the fact that in my case, the only hospital ever that existed was a psychiatric hospital. For me, the healthcare never existed. So this kind of gaslighting, basically, for me personally, British royals are doing absolutely everything to accommodate Russians as much as possible. Special interests do exist. Special interest goes on. After the war of Ukraine, the same swines, the same pigs want to be as close as possible to the dish where they snack the food from. So no regrets on the other hand, from my end, from me, no regrets. This girl stated me. The girl you're a woman named Valeria, 29, who was detained in Moscow after allegedly en yes. engaging in sexual acts with a male passenger. 29, uh, she's now 35, 36. You won't notice any difference because let's see this here. This is a quality is 1080, but what kind of quality the fuck is this of the 1080? Uh, you won't be capable to prove anything. Beside that, Vladimir Putin stated me, Vladimir stated to me, they rehearsed the whole incident. But this is the incident, original incident that traces to 2016, not even 2017, but exactly 2016. Maybe even 2015. And so what exactly is this Pabieda Paruski? What exactly that means? Well, the girl stated me how it's going to be fucked up for you because the bone cancer, you don't understand how painful that is. So that's in the Ruski plane, Pabieda. Uh, so we have this kind of gaslighting. I see this as a gaslighting. I don't have any kind of official diagnose about bone cancer. Uh, Vladimir Putin was certain that I will get a bone cancer. And Vladimir Putin knew how he will get the proof that I have a bone cancer. The Vladimir Putin used this man here, I demonstrated you. His name is Yanis Yansha, who would have his people with Milan Kuchin, with Borut Pahor, come inside of the home during my absence and measure the urine. Contents basically, as I leave this in container, the urine. I video record absolutely everything. I drink water to stay alive, practically, uh, to get by, to get past this. Uh, and often I do not empty container. So I have people coming inside of our house, checking out urine about what urine has to say and it appears that Vladimir Putin got approved that I have a bone cancer. This was I guess involved in MK Ultra according to the words of Vladimir Putin alone. So I am not going to miss this opportunity, whether that be a gaslighting or my having a bone cancer, but we use one to warn about this issue first. And this is going to be also the video I am going to use to correct the nurse Yanko psychopath who was involved in this 
MKUltra case by only adding few extra words. The first I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a map like this because everything appears, everything appears about the nurse Yanko. I have stated on the video here. Everything appears was false about the nurse Yanko. Uh, however, not everything. Uh, it appears that I made a mistake about Nurse Yanko being from Arzhihova Selo. So, I don't, I, I don't have a, I don't have a control over, I have absolutely no control over uh, I have absolutely no no control over whatever the most second most violent individual involved in MK Ultra would state to me. Would I have a control over somebody that is involved in a physical and psychological torture, heavy torture? The second most violent person in this MK Ultra procedure was Nurse Yanko. The first one was psychiatrist Peter Gapsch. I have no fucking control over it. This is our home here, and I'm still going to pin one today all the way so that what I stated, my demand for this criminal to get 10 life sentences will get through. I'm still going to score one and prove that the video I video recorded yesterday is going to be a crucial enough evidence to get this murderer behind the gates. I don't want him behind the gates. I want actual punishment on this guy. I want to see this guy lobotomized, just as I have suggested for psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. These are the penalties I will insist on because he destroyed my life for one thing. And I'm not going to discuss about issues concerning society. Society is dangerous enough. He's not a threat to society, to the, such a society. This is a society that took absolutely no responsibility for the criminal's actions. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to go like that. You can see 2.3 kilometers. Nurse Yanko appears, at least what my mother stated to me yesterday, was absolutely lying about absolutely everything. Uh, my mother stated me yesterday that he is not from here, and I have no control over this village here, over the people that were involved in it, and they lied together with the nurse Yanko, how they sold, uh, how they purchased the property from Yanko, uh, about his sisters from here, and so on and so forth. I have no, Yanko insisted every time during MK Ultra when we were physically passing through here, that he is from this property here, in fact, he insisted me in 1995, he insisted me. He had two, uh, two versions. Nurse Yanko insisted on from Home for Elderly People that was from this house here. And then the second option, this house here. Those are the two things that I had to listen to you see, the internet is now working again. 
that I had to, uh, it's working, it's okay, that I had to deal with, listen to no less than, and the second uh, property Nurse Yanko claimed for. Well, you know what? You're talking about giving me false information for no less than 25 years in case a brainwash so severe, so misleading, so false is a joke. I don't see it as a joke. Uh, my mother stated me, uh, the, another thing is, my father was the one who would come here fishing. He loved this place for fishing, this Jijo Oselo. He loved this place for fishing. Yanko did not only evolve these people from here who claimed me that he is from here. For instance, this individual here, I'm about to demonstrate to you, that threatened me. This individual here claimed that he is his cousin. They created a picture two kilometers from here in me throughout the torture, insisting me that this man is basically the village that is like a Yanko village. This is like totally his family. So this is a lunacy, you have to admit quite a bit. My father would love to go fishing here. And even my father, on at least 20 occasions, my father, who is now at the home for elderly people, referred to Nurse Yanko as a raubschitz, as a raubschitz from Zhihovo Selo. A raubschitz from Zhihovo Selo. My father supported and helped, assisted Nurse Yanko to lie, to brainwash that Nurse Yanko is from here. What, however, Nurse Yanko, as soon as I entered, into home from elderly people started to insist also by suggesting me about fishing. I had to participate to Nurse Yanko and my father fishing together. You understand? Uh, fishing for um, it's called the Huchen, Danube Salmon. Uh, fish, uh, pike fishing, etc., etc., uh, cat fishing. Yanko loved nothing more than to demonstrate me the piskur he was fishing with. Piskur is a fish that lives inside of the mud. It looks like this. This is basically what it looks like. Uh, and while illegal, people use them for cat fishing here in Slovenia. I don't think that I, I actually have audio recorded this stuff about. <laughs> it was extremely difficult to know about this gangster, whom, by the way, I have identified. I did identify it uh, as far as pointing out what year was it when he left to the Germany where Angela Merkel got him a job. He was trying to completely excuse himself, but there were a few things I pointed out about him that clearly suggest I did not put the stuff online, but when I first entered the home for elderly people and I crossed this individual, I did manage to identify him enough to have proofs about one. Today, I'm going to just seal the deal a little bit more because I'm in a hurry to get this guy where he belongs. Yesterday, I stated the guy is from here, and I also stated to you, and I also stated to you, something else that definitely zipped Yanko. Okay, yesterday 
not such a победа, you know, not such a victory, you know, not such a победа, not such a victory. By the way, Vladimir Putin stated that if he wouldn't get that kind of proof about my having a bone cancer, and what girl, this girl here referred to as, you know what she stated? She stated me how fucked up this actually is, that this is going to be, this is where for me the hell begins. To cure myself from the bone cancer, going in there and start to cure myself from a bone cancer. And then they would take me to the institutes, these Russian institutes, because I actually wanted to know what it looks like to cure from the bone cancer. As I told you, this is called a gas lighting. It's called a gas lighting. I don't even know if there is a, such a thing that you can see if a person has a bone cancer from his urine. Maybe he is. Maybe it's not. I do not know. I do not research this stuff online, but this is how I was told they're going to do it. And so I had to observe the people with the bone cancer getting treated. And God knows what the fuck they have done to me. The question is, why is it the central intelligence hijacked me from United States of America repeatedly and subjected me to this kind of killing? to the butcheries, basically. I never exited United States of America between 95 in August of 2006 for other than two visits to Ecuador. That's in South America with my ex-wife. Yet, I was here on a regular basis, hijacked from Miami, Florida, for nothing other than butcheries, basically. They created at least 10 cancer dots on my body, at least 10 of them, cancerous dots, before they released me in 2017, demanded from me the whole account about MK Ultra, or I'd be actually killed. I practically escaped from Slovenia in 2017, again, after returning from Belarus, where I filed for political asylum in 2017, I practically escaped again, uh, this time from Ukraine and Belarus, excuse me. Ukraine is not so innocent in my case, you know, and, well, they have to comply, you know, they have to comply. Uh, otherwise, they won't get no weapons. They will get no military assistance. The whole goal in the, polit in the world of the politics, however, is to murder those that are the best. Those because of which whom the state exists. That is the whole point. When you kill those, the whole system collapses like a domino. It's not only Vladimir Putin that is doing this. This is, it worked like this for millenniums, for as long as the world exists. So Ukrainians are fighting maybe a dead end war, even if they win this war with a principle they implied, applied in this case is highly unethical. The future of Ukrainian state as such also is questionable. And also one thing, you do it once to somebody like this, and I guarantee you it's going to be people who learn from it that jeopardize security of the state, well-being of the state. But let's leave this stuff alone. Yesterday in the video, however, I did zip Yanko despite all the lies he involved in it because he went on to proceed with brainwash and had entire community this part of the city of the novel master next to the it was all ran by the police director police all this community this part of the city is what Novomesto police director, 
who with the psychiatrists designed uh, this misinformation so they would get me destroyed, obviously. Today it's becoming more and more evident what the goal of the police was in this case. Yes, It was impossible for me to know whether Yanko is from Zhikovo Selo or from somewhere else, which I never ever would point out. Impossible. Totally, totally impossible. Based on, on accounts like this, that his grandfather was in the apartment building, in this apartment building here, uh, it's, it's actually completely impossible. But today I'm going to do a little bit better anyways. Uh, still yesterday, still yesterday, I pointed out that in this building here was in this actually apartment here, you understand? In the apartment here that faced this tree here, this beautiful tree behind, uh, in the last apartment right there. there was a family of the officer, of the Yugoslav officer. Okay. That there was a family of the Yugoslav officer that lived in there. So that would also take care of me whenever Tatalovic, another officer who was in charge for my case, would not be there. He would be the second one that would take care of me. Uh, likewise, and it was a psychiatrist, Peter Kavs, who tried to fuck me also with this issue. It applies to this building together with Yanko, for which they claim the grandfather of Yanko was here. He was not grandfather of the Yanko. We're going to do it like this. In this apartment here, to totally correct myself. In this apartment over here, in this apartment, also at the end of this apartment here, was a Slovenian engineer. He had, he was an engineer. This man was an engineer, possibly had a degree, university degree completed, engineer, who, however, was also in the Yugoslav military service and had a rank, has a military, high military rank, whom nurse Yanko have afterwards used. These are the people that were involved since my early childhood. Beginning the nine months and up, you understand? Whom also nurse Yanko have used to depict me as his father. Okay. And so guess how we're gonna finish this video today? Today, I'm going to seal the deal with, this is impossible for me to know. Nurse Yanko went through this entire area from apartment to apartment. You understand? Uh, I would return. I would return. I would literally, uh, I would literally, uh, it's a horror. This is a story about the horror. This shit went on in the high school. This shit went on after the high school with Nurse Yanko involved in it. And my mother would go to work. And in the evening hours, after the whole fucking day of torture, I would endure in these apartments here, from one apartment to the other. Nurse Yanko was in charge to literally walk next to me. I would be meeting mother here where this male guy is and she would be bitching me that she worked so hard to pay the bills and so on. And what a dunk, what a piece of shit that I am not doing anything that I'm not cooperating with them. She was asking them in front of me, how was it if I'm cooperating and all and so on. This is the degree of crime. Now, yesterday still, I did something that separates me from somebody who would be hallucinating, not knowing absolutely nothing. And uh, just as in the case, 
of video about psychiatrist Stargar and his second uh, co-worker, second psychiatrist in the home of the, for Edward in the novel Mesto, where they also create these stories about they make everything so logical that it's as logical as possible and the whole thing is a twisted fucking lie. Uh, pointed out that during end of the MK Ultra sessions, I was always delivered to psychiatrists in Ljubljana, where they would write down, uh, like Spricovalo, like um, like a special military papers, for which Yanis Yasha stated me, this is never going to be part of the official record, and it's never going to be accessible. But those existed, actually. They existed. They very, very much existed. Uh, there was a special military papers uh, the, pertaining to the torture, to the subject being tortured. And they would have always, before they would return me to the city of the novel master, and it's something I discussed in this video, totally in details. I'm going to put both of these videos on one post, and we'll include this next to the posts I did yesterday. I will publish, I will republish those videos. Before they would return me back to Novo Man, so they would always have me <laughs> in a parenthesis examined. Basically, write down that I'm okay, that I'm returning back to the environment is more or less in a normal Wait, this is what Hugo Führer Josip Brostito was doing. This was a beast. This was a beast. Uh, and in military hospitals, including the psychiatric military hospitals that existed, existed for the human butchery done inside. I would not even re refer to this stuff as an experiment done on people. This was a really a killing of the people, really doing with the people the unimaginable. Like you would be doing, you would not be even doing this stuff with a rat, with, uh, you know, they were doing this stuff on a human subjects in real time. And this is what I was, this, is what, this, is, this was the assignment for me. They believed I would eventually enter the second hospital at one point in my life that would be even a military hospital. In Yugoslavia, in you in a greater Chetnik Serbian state. What I did stated yesterday about the nurse Yanko is that his grandfather was even from somewhere else. That his grandfather, I stated that based on the mother, that probably he is from the Zhigovo Selo. But based on grandfather, I stated the guy is likely from either Kocelje, uh, actually Bela Kraina, where my mother is from, or Kocelje. Yes, the two things. Just blurry it came to me because somebody mentioned to me that Janko is not even from uh, from. Novo Mesto area that he is actually that that his grandfather actually that he is from he was all the time was that he was from here this was it uh, but it was mentioned to me enough somebody mentioned to me that he is actually that his grandfather is from either Bela Kraina and or Kocelje. So this is another proof I'm going to use. I stated to you already yesterday. While uh, Janko is not from Bela Kraina or Kocelje,
while Janko is not from Bela Krajina or Kučevje. Bela Krajina is where Chernobyl is. Yes, something like this. This would be like Bela Krajina, uh, Semic, uh, Semic, Chernobyl, uh, Dragatush, all this, all this area here is a Bela Krajina, yeah? I, so I wasn't sure. Uh, let me, let me do something like this. Let me do something like this. We're going to do that. While Yanko is not from Bela Kraina, and this here, this is a Bela Kraina, uh, grandfather, yeah, his grandfather is not from uh, Metlika. This here is a Bela Kraina, what you see here. This is a Bela Kraina here. Uh, and this here, this is a Kuchelia. Uh While he is not from Bela Kraina or from Kuchelia, he is from Zuzenberg. And to get to Kocelje, you have to go through the Zuzenberg. So this too, I managed to zip Janko. Janko was financed by the Milan Kuchan, by the board Pahor, literally in 1989, I think that he finished the school. It was something like this. And they opened him the road to the novel master, literally. However, there is something else I managed yesterday. Unless he also, it was also, uh, it was also part of the brain war. Say, it's impossible. It's impossible that, that one would know. And this is the stuff I'm not supposed to know. This is what they were sure I would not manage to find out about. He actually did have a grandparents in the city of the Novo Mesto. I did not verify this stuff. Uh, I had no idea about this stuff. I cannot say that he did have grandparents in the city of the Novo Mesto, or that he did not have grandparents uh, in the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, but something is telling me that he did have grandparents of the Novo Mesto, or he posed with somebody in this grandparents from the Novo Mesto that he had were from this area, part of the city is right here, is listed as Berschlin. Berschlin is, no, is known, this part of the city. Um, I would, uh, this, this is crap. I don't know where the hell this came from now. Go. Uh, we did not get to Home for Elderly People in Kocelia, where they also had me. Okay, now that's more likely. I don't want to be thrown away. Uh, not too far from Gejo, uh There is a combination <clears throat> of apartments. Uh, some apartments are in this area here where Gejo is located. This is one kind. And then there is another location. <clears throat> Frankly, uh, if it's to believe that account of Yanko, uh, he posts at uh, some inside of some apartment building that apartment was located on like on the second floor 
this is called Berschlin. Uh, it says here, Vab to Pichova Ulica uh, 3. Uh, if this is what it is, uh, then I presume that he would be either in this building or something like this, like on a second floor, something like that. And however, then there is another ugly thing thing here that is that is again throws me in a control yeah <laughs> okay okay maybe this this okay i press the back button so all right so there you go berschlin i'm gonna zoom myself out okay so if this is the city of the novel mesto Okay, if this is the city of the Novo Mesto, uh, then, uh, you know, let's say something like this, I think it is. This would be considered as Berschlin here, you know, this area here of the city. This would be considered as Berschlin. Okay. Maybe even like this. <clears throat> okay. So uh, what I'm going to say to you is basically... Uh, this would be option number one. And I just want to see this stuff because the thing is also that I want to do this as original as possible. I want this to be as original account as possible based on my memory. Um, there are some apartments also here in this area uh, of Berlin where I am browsing at, but I would just say that location where I was at, that this would be then the right location. So that I would not even bother myself going anywhere else than what I, what I stated. Uh, he did post. He also posted here. This was another location. Uh, I am just trying to. This is called Klementova Ulica. Uh, in the rear, uh, there is apartments here too. Uh, this again. This was also. Uh, this also was his. Um, This was also his deal. He wanted to be seen in that one, but uh, all in all, they have apartments here also. Uh, I'm pretty damn certain that the first location that I demonstrated you in the area of Berlin is where his grandparents were in apartment building so yeah uh <laughs> there is not much i can possibly do when you have a psychopath involved in psychopaths and you're talking about the murder psychopaths with unlimited powers you're talking about murderous psychopaths literally holding police badges police licenses a license to kill basically psychiatrist better you have not only psychiatrists, Peter Huff, you have an army of psychiatrists holding psychiatric licenses, all the credentials, licenses to murder, together with police licenses. This is difficult. It's not actually possible to survive. I am the person, however, who demonstrated you in the pit of this. So eat your fucking pobieda. Pobieda, paruesca, pobieda. You know why Ukrainian people don't want to? to see Russia anymore 
because they see how they're being, how they would be mistreated, how their man would be sent on the front lines to die like a rat, used for a meat grinder. It's a horror when it comes to Russia. And when it comes to the Pobyata, Ukraine became, for the Russians, a meat grinder. Russians are paying for a Vladimir Putin more than paid for any other president. Unlike in Afghanistan, there is always 400,000 Russians, 400,000 Russian men who were meat grinded in the Ukraine, used as a fertilizer, literally, for the great Russian emperor, for the Pobieda, which is not anywhere even near and is still far. And it's question if there will be Pobieda because we don't know if the mother Russia is going to exist tomorrow. All the regards to Moscovia. You are going to fucking eat Pabieta. And we don't know if tomorrow you're going to still exist on the map. 